Wow, guys, this is a truly important lesson here. When it comes to the explain question in section A, you are going to receive six of these in each of your paper one and your paper two uh, exams. As such, the explain question itself represents about 20% of your uh, GCSE, 18 marks of each paper. Let's dive into these assessment objectives now. So when it comes to uh, AO1, it breaks down into two distinct boundaries, okay? Uh, so firstly, AO1A, this is business knowledge. Now the way in which uh, you'll be awarded marks for your explained question will be one mark for identification of an appropriate point. Uh, then you will get two further marks awarded based on AO1B showing understanding of uh, business uh, concepts, okay? So therefore, the best approach to actually utilize here is to identify uh, a point, okay? Because uh, this explain question will say explain one uh, benefit, drawback, impact, something along those lines, okay? Um, so you identify a point, that identification gives you this mark, uh, and then you then say this leads to, therefore, or leading to, therefore, and that would get you the additional two marks, providing your reasoning is accurate here. So let's have a look. Uh, so here we go, explain one benefit of using break-even analysis for a small business. Uh, what I suggest you do now is just pause the video and have a uh, crack at answering that question. Uh, try and work to uh, a time of about two minutes, 15 seconds, so just uh, set a timer, okay, stopwatch. Uh, see how quickly you can respond to a question like that. Uh, if you can respond in that sort of time frame, uh, you're going to do very, very nicely in terms of managing your time in the exam, okay? So don't just think of it as a mark a minute, okay? Yes, it might be 90 marks and 90 minutes, but section B and C are going to take you a lot longer than section A. Uh, generally, I try to get my group aiming for about 30 words uh, as a maximum. Let's have a look at this. Now, uh, here we go. So it gives a clear target to achieve. Uh, so that is the identification point. This will lead to the business setting daily and weekly targets to achieve break even. Uh, very nice. Therefore, they are more likely to achieve break even and currency and eventually profitability. Okay, so that's uh, a very decent response there. Clearly, the candidate would get three marks here. Okay, uh, so uh, very, very tidy but perhaps longer than it actually needs to be. I believe that exceeds 30 words there, okay? So uh, is there anything that we could actually cut down? Well, this and uh, eventually profitability, well, that is not actually necessary. If you've got the time, great, you can include it, okay, just to make sure you're getting those marks. But otherwise, um, if you're really pushed for time, just make sure you go through that identification point leading to, therefore, great stuff. Okay, so let's have a look at this next one. Explain one impact on a small business from operating in a competitive environment. So uh, again, you may just want to pause the video and have a quick run through of that. Now let's take a look at uh, a response that I wrote on a course with uh, one of the uh, principal examiners uh, very recently. Uh, now this is ridiculously short, but it just shows you how you can actually generate three marks in very few words. Okay, so we've got two answers coming up here. Um, now, firstly, to differentiate products, giving a competitive advantage, developing brand loyalty. So in nine words there, I've managed to actually attain a full three marks. So once again, it just shows you how quickly you can actually respond to the questions in section A, okay? And particularly, of course, this explained question. Uh, so it, can you write nine words in uh, two minutes, 15 seconds? I, I bet you can. Um, now, an alternative way to go could be to uh, be price competitive, of course, uh, leading to a source of competitive advantage. Therefore, the volume of sales will remain strong. Uh, both are very, very good answers here. So uh, just remember in business, you can argue things from different perspectives. It very much depends on the type of business that you're considering in your mind. You don't need application here. You can see it's just generic, okay? There's no AO2 assessment on this. 
so let's move it along here. Uh, explain one benefit to a small business carrying out market research. Again, pause the video, have a go at this now, okay? So you should be getting really strong on writing quick uh, and succinct or concise answers. So uh, here's an, another appropriate uh, answer here. Identify a gap in the market, well differentiated product, therefore business more likely to succeed, perfect. Okay, so uh, yeah, nice, let's move it along. Uh, again, pause the video, have a crack at this. Explain one benefit of being an ethical business. Right, so let's look at some potential responses here. Now, what I'd like you to do is again, just pause the video and have a uh, quick go at marking those responses. What do you think, how many marks would they actually generate? Okay, so uh, with this first one, we've got better brand image. Okay, that's uh, our identification point, leading to a better reputation and increased sales. Very nice. Therefore, the business can recruit the best workers. Love it. Okay, that one would clearly get three out of three. Uh, this next one, uh, explain one benefit of being an ethical business. Higher costs. No, that is clearly not a benefit because you may have to use more expensive ethical suppliers. Therefore, the business may have lower net cash flow. The, so the candidate's gone the wrong way here, okay? They've actually looked at a drawback of being an ethical business. Uh, but the question doesn't ask that, it asks for a benefit. Now, if this set an impact, one impact, then either of these answers would it be appropriate. But because it says a benefit, only this answer is actually appropriate. And only that answer would get full three marks. This answer has just gone the wrong way. Uh, so the candidate hasn't actually read the question carefully enough. And despite having very good understanding of these concepts, uh, wouldn't generate the marks they should. Right, so here we go with uh, another explain uh, question. Explain one benefit using internal source of finance for growth. So pause the video now, have a go at this. Okay, so how was that? Can you, are you writing uh, in two minutes, 15 seconds, less than 30 words? How's that going? Uh, let's have a look at these answers that we've got here. Uh, again, you can pause the video, have a go at marking these, see what you think. So first up, there's no interest payable. Nice, one mark. Leading to the business keeping expenses low. Nice, okay, two marks. Also, there will be no divorce of control. Uh, okay, now big, big problem here is the candidates use this word also and has identified another benefit. And the question clearly says one benefit. This answer would only get two out of three, therefore. Uh, this next one, this would avoid divorce control through share sales, leading to the owners retaining full control of the business. Therefore, they will not have to give a share of the profits to shareholders. So this one would get two marks. This one would get three marks quite clearly. Okay, let's have a look at this one. So explain one benefit of business selling products through their own website. Once again, pause the video now and have a crack at this. All right, so uh, something like this is entirely appropriate. E-commerce site will reach global audience, leading to the potential to increase sales. Therefore, sales revenue could, could rise dramatically. Okay, lovely. Again, pause the video now and just have a crack at that. Okay, so we've got two answers here. Uh, again, you can pause the video and have a go at marking those. What do you think? Are they accurate? Well, with this first one, increased interest repayments on loans. Well, that's accurate, leading to higher expenses. Very nice, therefore net cash flow will decrease. Uh, that's full three marks. Lower consumer demand. Uh, okay, leading to falling sales volume. Therefore, the business may become less profitable. That's three again. Right, so great stuff, guys. I, I really hope that's been uh, very useful for you there. The key point to really take away is, is to read the question and make sure that you are just considering one element. If it says impact, you can go benefit or drawback, okay? If it says drawback, you've got to look at downsides, okay? And that is just once, of course. Make sure you do that and make sure you really signpost the examiner uh, your points of development by using like leading to and therefore you are really clearly signposting to the examiner where you are making those points and that's going to mean you're going to score very, very nicely. Do not waffle. Do not waste time. Great stuff. We'll see you next time.